Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do you guys' reading. Thank you Capricorn for all the support you've been showing the channel. It's appreciate it. <clears throat> Let's get started. Capricorn. What messages do we have Capricorn from the time they view this reading? Victim mentality. Conscious of lack, a conscious of lack. So you've been in the, the why me attitude. Maybe you felt like things not going right for you and that you kind of stuck in a place, nothing's flowing in, nothing's going out. It's just a sense of uh, you feeling just disconnected with uh, all things abundant. <laughs> And I'm not saying that to laugh at you, but that's just the way it feel. But the divine, the sacred temple being under here, the divine is saying, have courage to listen to your intuition. Because your intuition is trying to tell you which way to go about something. And it may even be telling you whichever, whatever this is for you that um, is going to turn out to be just fine. But you have to have the courage to believe that. OK, and you may you may have lost a, or lack that courage, start lacking that courage. When it came to some people being uh, phony, deceptive, fake, <clears throat> and this could, for some of you, this could have been family or work, co-workers, friends you looked at as family. And now I got you into this mode where you're going back and forth about making a decision about something or someone. But whatever happened in the past, the divine is saying you don't have to be in this like you in this card. It speaks of. It's like, why me? You feel stuck, but you like this guy is tied to the, the thing. And I know even that we hear this when we going through in this stage and, and you really trying to figure out what's going on. You really feel stuck or trapped, but it's saying like you can always cut yourself loose. OK, so sometimes it's a mind thing, but I'm not I'm not at all undermining what you're going through because it can feel like sometimes this feeling to me. Is like something that is is hard to see a way out of it. Okay, especially with consciousness of lack, feeling like you don't have enough resources or enough to kind of get through whatever this is. Let's see what our divine is bringing this up for you. I know one is your intuition, renewal. Good. So you finna come out of this energy really soon. Oh look. <laughs> Look, Cap, <laughs> you got abundance. Abundance? Wow. So if you're going through this right now, the divine is saying, don't even trip. Even <laughs> you got something great coming up. And that's why it's coming in for you. And then we got two more trickery at the bottom of the deck. Don't let your mind play tricks on you is what I'm getting with that. Destiny and work a <laughs> Capricorn read. No, destiny and workaholic. <laughs> so you're destined for success you don't have nothing to worry about even though it's kind of like things are tied up for you right now maybe not moving the way you want it to be it's this finna change and it's finna change in a big way with renewal abundance destiny and workaholic so if this is pertaining to business or anything work related anything financial know that it's destined to change for you you're finna come into a very abundant time this could be a relationships but with workaholic here i'm feeling this is a strong career um for this reading and just know that things are finna pick up say you own your own business or you're inspiring artists whatever this is for you you're destined to to be abundant with whatever you're doing especially with workaholic here this may be indicating that you finna go from maybe a consciousness elect to always working to me <clears throat> clarify renewal divine relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth so renewal and gr with this is like it's finna transform things finna grow and you're gonna feel so much better uh, about this and this being a root shock or you're gonna start seeing this physically grow <clears throat> abundance divine why is abundance here you have reminiscing keepsakes Perception, learn from the past, make memories. So you're finna um, learn from whatever this, whatever happened in the past is finna, is finna be the past and you're finna have a, a time of abundance. This could be in love. 
Yeah, because you could be unsure of the future right here. But there's going to be a sense of freedom with this, okay? A sudden change. Look, at the bottom of the deck, a sudden change in your abundance. So however this fall, if this is... Re Hey, your relation. I feel strongly this has something to do with work, though. But abundance to me is abundant in all areas. So any place of lack you're feeling, even this could be work and love. You're destined to be happy. It's your your destiny for you to evolve and change with the butterfly here. Things to work out, and because you've been maybe working hard at something. <clears throat> this could be love also. Destiny. Had a block, restraint. You know what I'm getting? Whatever this was for you, it was made hard because your destiny has so much more potential. And so you had to kind of grow out of that. You have twin flame at the bottom. So if this was you feeling abandoned by your twin flame, you guys are destined to be together. It was a block there because... Things had to evolve, change, heartbreak, sadness. Just know whatever this is, is destined for you. Yin, yang, balance. That could be this too. Why is workaholic here? Seems like somebody's working hard at something. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving. So you finna receive a lot of, if this is work related, you finna receive a lot of business. For some of you, this could be in regards to love. Let me read this. <clears throat> if you've been feeling stuck in a relationship, things not moving forward, they are finna, it's finna be like a renewal of this relationship. It's finna evolve. Is for this is a relationship that can be abundant, but you guys have to learn from the past and heal whatever this is um, that kind of broke you guys apart, which means there's a sense of, yeah, we're going to reminisce about the past. We're going to look at the past, but it's only to change our perception and learn from it. And that way we can now transform this into something more abundant. Okay. And if this is a relationship that this is in regards to, this person is thinking of you and missing you yearning destiny has a block restraint so this was part of the uh the adventure could have been someone else involved in this could have been some snake competition enemy clever if this is in regards to work you guys be careful you might have somebody like somebody competitive very competitive Malicious. I don't see it being nothing to affect you because with abundance here, destiny here, if this per if there is anyone trying to stop your abundance, it's your destiny. So, I mean, they can try if they want to, but just so you know that it may be an enemy here, especially even if this is a relationship. If there's anyone trying to stop it or block it, know that you guys ain't putting in this hard work for nothing. You're destined to be together, be abundant. However this go for you, uh, Capricorn, it's your destiny for it to, to be right. And it was also destiny to um, go through that period of trickery, especially with trickery here in that card. Release. It, it was, and that was to kind of get you to that place of abundance. So any weaknesses you had, that's why I like the blocks was there, the trickery, all that other stuff. Because it's like maybe you guys can be destined for something huge and it could like something small can't that, that maybe caused a rift before couldn't be there for you guys to grow something humongous. Just look at it like that, um, Caps. Whether this is work or love. He shuffled the cards. Let me just shuffle them a little bit more. I'm gonna do. Okay, 
There we go. We have the High Priestess, Six of Cups, the Death. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Endings bringing in new beginnings, the Wheel, Hangman, <clears throat> Prince of Cups, Two of Wands, and the nine, Three Nines, the Emperor, underneath here in the Ten of Cups. <laughs> this is similar to the oracle spread it's basically just saying it's saying to me that things needed to end so it could transform in a major way confidence need to be grew like a sense of who you guys are on your own need to to, to happen being abundant on your own yeah, there were secrets and maybe you felt left out in the cold, but intuitively you knew that this was like, it, intuitively you know that things are finna change and, and it's, going, it's going in your favor, it's going your way. I feel like you just don't like the weight, <laughs> which is understandable Capricorn, <laughs> but the weight is there because you got three nines and nines is endings with new beginnings. So a lot of these heavy energies like the Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands, being tired, ready to give up, worried all the time. A lot of your worry is about the past versus where you're going. Because if you can be worried about the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> so it's not, the, it's not your future. It's like the worry with the past, it, you, it, that needs to be let go and let this transform. Well, I'm just getting a lot of, even with the readings uh, cap, I'm getting a lot of the divine is ready for us to look at the past in a different way. Let it go so we can move forward and actually get the things that we really, really want. Because if we keep worrying about what happened in the past, when the past he said this and the past she did that, all that, it's like it stay, we stay in the past. Nothing ever moved forward. We never get the will of fortune because we waiting for things to turn, but our mind haven't shifted. We haven't really went towards, we haven't stopped looking at the past enough to see where we at now or the future. So it's time to kind of let this go. Let things transform. Even if we have to be alone for a while while everything work itself out, it's divine is like, look, we're working this out in for the betterment of you, for the betterment of Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Pisces or Scorpio, strong Pisces here. But whatever it is, it's like too much focus is going on what's already passed. Like the divine don't can't take us back in time. We can't go back there. So why are we even worried about it is the message that I'm getting and move forward knowing that with the will of fortune is changing in your favor. Like you're going to get what you want as long as you can get out the past is what I'm getting. Hope I made that clear. And then you have the two of wands here. So just setting like with this two of wands and a princess, a cup, open yourself up to set a new venture, a vision for yourself. Like don't even look at whatever happened in the past. We already know that we've been there. Don't need to keep hearing about it. But open yourself up to um, the new self, like open your heart up to move forward and let it go. And that's how you clear up the fog and you won't be in the fork in the road. You won't feel this lack no more because a lot of the lack is related to the past. It's not what what's going on today right here. And even if there it is here, if we could focus on right now, then you could get out that lack mentality because you'll be focused on what can you do today right now to move forward. Let's see why this is here. Oh, look, well, that's it. It says uh, clarity, truth, revelations. So your intuition is going to give you a spark about something, a way to get out of this. OK, so if it is something that's not really working out, then is your intuition is going to give is going to tell you something that's going to be powerful. So listen to it. You're going to know that this is exactly what you need to do to get out of that. And then sabotage, rebuilding, rebuilding from the past. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving forward. 
abundance <laughs> under with transformation. Things are, wow, and with the will of fortune. So just keep a positive mindset. Kill off the old and keep a positive mindset so you can get the new, so you can get the abundance you want. Whether this is on your own or together, but it's saying that you're going to create this on your own also and transform your life, your individual. And this could be abundant, abundant mindset. It could be just happiness, confidence, a lot of abundance of confidence. I, I feel good. I look good and I'm happy about it. Whatever it is, it's going to come in abundance for you. And then uh, the will of fortune, it takes time. Things are making progress. So that's why this hangman is here. Like there may be a, still some waiting to do, but shift the way you look at it because it's working out in your favor. It's just things take time, progress, ending, bring new beginning like the death card. So whatever, whatever ended was to give you what you want. At some point, you asked for this. You wanted this. This is what you work for. And so some things just need to shift the will of fortune. Even it could be the way you're looking at it, too. But some things need to shift. And it's going to be in a major way with the will of fortune clarified by the hangman. So even though it's some time period, you may get this abundance and abundance with the transformation. It just show that stuff is happening for you in a big way. This is not playing as small, especially with the nine of pentacles. So just have that patience and it's coming in a huge way for you. And that's what you that workaholic, you worked for this. So this was just like the divine is working with you because you worked with yourself. OK. Please, Claire, give um, Capricorn. Look at this. <laughs> Angel of abundance. You see that cap? A steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. And then you got, you reap what you sow. Your dreams are coming to fruition. There you go. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. This is, this is really good, Cap. I hope this helps. Bye.